Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Knockreiner. Today's story is how hacking can be used for good. Now, before I start, you've probably noticed my unusual garb today. I wanted to take some time to let you know this will be the last Daily Security Byte for the year. I'm taking some time off for the holidays, so I won't post the next Security Byte until early next January in 2016. With that said, I also wanted to use the last video as an excuse to talk about some positive aspects of hacking and security. So today's story will share two great ways where hackers can actually improve our lives. The first is a story about a couple that hacked an insulin pump. You know, over the years you're probably used to me talking about stories where researchers and presumably bad guys can reverse medical equipment, find weaknesses that they can later use for nefarious purposes. But in this case, this is a story about a couple uh, who actually did this hack to improve their life. The wife found herself dozing through these alerts that told her when she needed her next insulin injection. So her engineering husband reversed this equipment and actually used those alerts to automatically force the insulin pump to send the injection in time. So again, this is a case where actually reversing that equipment allowed this engineering person to create a new solution that really helped them. Another very similar story that came out today is about a hacker named Geohot. You might have heard of Geohot before. I've talked about him a long time ago because he was one of the initial iPhone and even uh, console hackers out there. He jailbroke devices. Now in doing so, he often had to reverse these devices and find vulnerabilities vulnerabilities that he could use to gain root or elevate his privileges. And of course, these same vulnerabilities could be used to hijack this equipment as well. In this case, anyways, Geohots has moved on to hacking cars. But he's not hacking cars to crash them. Rather, he's hacked his own personal car so that he can create his own self-driving car. And apparently, he's on to some pretty cool algorithms that he suggests are actually better than the ones created by Tesla. Anyways, there's no real practical tip from today video other than just reminding you that hacking and reverse engineering can be used for good too. In fact, we should think about the white hat researchers who do this reverse analysis and find these vulnerabilities. Often they're doing so to make us safer. By finding these flaws, we can actually fix them. On top of that, sometimes these cool hacks allow us to do cool things we've never thought about before. So as we go into New Year, let's all think about how we can use hacker mentalities to improve our security. In any case, that's all for today's story. And I also want to wish you a happy holiday and a great new year. And while we're at it, I hope you enjoyed this quick preview of the Security Bytes new look and feel for the new year. I'll see you next year and thank you for watching.